Welcome! In front of me is the Oppo A54s and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. And when you boot it up for the first time you should be presented with this screen that you can see right over here. And all you need to do here is find your desired language. Now for me it's already selected the correct one so that's what I'm gonna stick with. And on the next page I can choose my region. Uh, from here you want to select uh, the two fields right here, user, user agreement and privacy policy. These are the two uh, that are actually required, the second two are not. So yeah, now you can also tap on this icon right here and the one below to actually view exactly what you are agreeing to, the entire like legal document. From there, going to the next page, we can connect to network, which I have already done so as you can see right over here but you can also skip it if you want to. Uh, if you want to skip, you will have skip button right here before you connect to it. Once you connect to any kind of network, it changes from skip to next. Now this will then give us the option to import our old data from an old device uh, to this one. So if you want to utilize that, you just go through next and log into your Google account and just do it through basically account backup. But if you're planning to set it up as new, you can just tap on don't copy. Now from here you can log into your Google account if you want to or you can also skip it if you don't feel like doing it right now. Now this will bring us to the Google services so we have a couple different services right here. I'm gonna quickly just explain them so location is a GPS tracking for the device. Uh, so applications like Google Maps can function correctly, then allow scanning, allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And then below that we have send user and diagnostic data, which allows Google to basically gather data on you and send it to themselves. Basically a spy spyware, so I'm gonna disable this one and then move on to the next page. From here, you can select your desired search engine. We have things like DuckDuckGo, Google, Microsoft Bing, if anybody uses that, and uh, whatever else is here. So choose whichever one you use and go to the next page. And this will give us some review additional apps. So this just kind of auto installs these apps. So I'm gonna deselect them. I, I don't really care for any of these. And then go to the next page. From here, you can choose uh, your protection method on your device. We have password, fingerprint, and face recognition. Now, if you're planning to use any of the two below ones, you are always required to set up some kind of uh, physical way of unlocking that be under the password category, if you can even call that. So under password, uh, you not only get the password, you also get pr uh, finger uh, fingerprint, what am I saying? Uh, you get a pin and also pattern. Now. You can set up only a pin pattern or password if you want to without the need to actually set up the fingerprint or face recognition. But the other way around, you always need to have some kind of other way of unlocking the device through physical means because if something would happen to your face and or your finger, you would lose access to your device. And if you don't want to set up any kind of screen lock, you can just set up, select later, later. And this will move us to the next page, which is just auto update overnight. Uh, it's completely up to you if you want to do this. It's a, it's a fairly decent option. It will automatically update the device when you're basically sleeping. Then we have again import data, though this time around. Uh, this is probably a better option to importing your data uh, because this will use uh, their proprietary application. 
So if you have a, a Oppo phone or your older device was an Oppo as well, you can just open up this application which comes preloaded to every Oppo device. And if you use any kind of different uh, phone, different brand, it will tell you what, what's the application name and you can just simply go to the Play Store, download it on your different device and then follow up the, the tutorial on how to connect these two phones together. It is just simply written what you need to do. It's not very complicated. Once you connect them together, you will choose what kind of data you want to move over and it will just start the process. Now, I'll warn you, the more data you want to move, the longer it will take, obviously. So uh, if you don't need to move everything over, uh, it might be a little bit more beneficial just for the actual like time that it will take you to move it. And if you're planning to set it up as new, again, I'm gonna select next. And this virtually finishes up the process. So let's select get started and this will take us to our home screen. So there we go. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.